Howdy PvP enjoyer, this is the second episode of my training room series. In training room, I will grab any build, weapon, ash of war, spells, or a combination of the above. I will show you the strengths and weaknesses of them, I will explain the most effective ways to use them, and then I will take them into invasions and duels for you to see for yourself. So this is the Clayman's Harpoon episode. I am dual wielding them. They are disgusting. I'm going to show you a preview of how disgusting they are before we get started. Then I'll show you the build and I'll get two invasions and duels. Alright, here we go. Uh-oh! I'm sorry to interrupt, fellas. Let me see if I can just get a sneaky pebble on him. Yep. There he is, deleted just like that. That is the power of Glintstone Pebble. Now where did he go? Where do we go now? I wouldn't do that. I swear to God, I saw this dude earlier. Oh, Jesus. Roll catches from hell. Holy shit, this is bad for you. Jesus fucking... You're gonna try to spawn kill me? Nope. You really won, dude. I don't wanna... I don't wanna bully him if he's a solo. Uh, I guess I will. Just for science, you know? Oh, shit. Jesus Christ, man. So, what I got for you guys today is Clayman's Harpoons. These are two spears that do exceptionally good intelligence scaling. These are so good. They do so much damage, okay? Let me show you the build real quick. So, this is mainly an intelligence build and a vigor build because I am not failing a vigor check. I refuse. So, at 50 intelligence, I do over 1,000 AR with both of these, okay? I know it doesn't actually hit that hard when you hit somebody. It usually hits for about... 300 to 700 but the average is probably 600 which is a lot okay that's a lot of damage that's better than ultra great sword damage okay so these things are beastly okay oh well, that's the build now, let me show you my gear real quick it's my fashion souls i wanted 72 poi or 75 boys actually poise is very important because you can just run through people's attacks and basically do half their health with these but yeah poise is important i always have poise to the weapons, I got care and retaliation also. Here are my talismans, for obvious reasons. The spear talisman is the most effective talisman on the build because if you hit somebody while they're swinging, you get counter damage with spears and it does like 900 damage. It's fucking stupid. It's stupid. 900 isn't a consistent number, it just depends on who you're hitting. But I've seen it hit really, really high, okay? It does a lot more damage, so I highly recommend spear talisman if you're going to use these. Alright, so me and Hayeta here are going to show you the moveset. So this thing is essentially just a giant poke machine, okay? Everything's a poke. L1, R1, R2, running L1, jumping L1, jumping R1, rolling R1, rolling L1. Everything's a poke. It's all a poke. It's, it's just a poke stick from hell. It's a poke machine, okay? Now... That might sound boring, you know, having something that just pokes is kind of boring, but it's really, really, really good. It has a lot of range, it does a lot of fucking damage, and it can roll catch like a machine. This is the roll catch rhythm. One, two, three, four. And they will often be dead by the second one, okay? This thing does so much fucking damage, it's stupid. So, um, yeah, the main important thing you need to know about these is that you want to stay out of people's range you want to outspace them and poke them right in the face and you want to roll catch so essentially when you hit somebody it's going to do a lot of damage with that l1 and then you're going to want to chase them down and roll catch them that's why your l1 is the most useful attack on this on this on this setup basically because it has so much forward momentum and it's so fast you can just get in and out and harass people with it it's amazing. I don't really use any of this, because there's no reason to do those when you can just do an L1, you know? Two is better than one. That's all I got to say. So, that's how the moveset is. So, how do you effectively use these in invasions? Well, it's complicated, because I've been doing PvP for ten years, and spears have never been that great in invasions. Why? Because they don't have wide-sweeping attacks. They only have narrow pokes. And that is kind of hard in an invasion. That means you can't turn and burn. That means you can't really hit three dudes at the same time. That is a drawback. On the bright side, though, it has these super lightning fast pokes. They have good range. So you can wait for these gankers to swing at you and miss because you know they're going to miss. They always miss. Outspace them, wait for them to whiff an attack, and poke them in the face. Then you're going to have them pretty low on health. And if you get a chance, you need to chase people down and roll catch them. Stay aggressive as fuck with these. These are the best aggression tools I've ever worked with in this game. They, they're, 
their range and roll catch potential is amazing. So essentially, you want to play cautious until you get somebody weak. And then once you get somebody down and out and they're running away trying to heal, stay on them. Don't let them heal. Stay right up in their shit. That's why I got so much poise and such high defense. With the poise, I can literally just walk through somebody's attack and do like 600 damage to them. You know? And they can't stun me. At least if they have a small weapon. If they have, say, a halberd or a greatsword, I wouldn't do that. But... It does a lot of damage, and I have so much poise, and I'm probably going to win at any trade I do. Almost any trade. I even traded with Rivers of Blood a couple times, and I won. So, this is this is a really, really good build, especially because of the resistances. People aren't just people just aren't going to do a lot of damage to you. They will do some. That doesn't mean be careless, but you know you're you're pretty the closest to safe you could be, I guess. So use these to harass people. If you're running away from gankers, turn around, and poke them right in the face. Turn around. Wait for him to come back, poke somebody in the face. Or throw out the pebble. Glintstone pebble is great because you can wait for somebody to whiff an attack and then you can get him with this. And that's pretty much a one shot. You know, I've killed so many gankers by doing that. They, they miss their attacks so often, they're just pebble bait. You know, you can just pebble the fuck out of them. And they can't do anything about it because they're so bad. <laughs> but well, yeah, so the main points I would, I would repeat about this is be cautious but also be aggressive at the same time. Be cautious until you see the opening moment. When you, when you when you get that moment, take it. Hit him and then chase him down. Don't let him heal. Don't let him get away. Obviously, don't risk your life. Don't risk the whole invasion just to finish one guy. But if you can finish them, these are so great for it. And also, there's the one-shot potential. If you can use this, use it. Anyway, that's about all I've got to say for invasions with these. I'm going to get into the invasions now. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, alright now, essentially, I cannot outrange him, so I just have to be better. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, what is he throwing at me? Ah, I knew it was something big like that. Alright, I need to deal with that, that spam. That's the first thing I need to take care of, scare him so he doesn't keep doing it. Yeah, there I stopped him from using the dragon, which is good. That was the whole point. Never let them do the dragon. Never. Damn it, he saved him from getting roll caught. Don't heal. Ugh, I gotta take care of this relentless motherfucker. Alright, glintstone one shot. Just wait for him to whiff, and then you hit him with the glintstone, and it's a one-shot 99% of the time. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He's so pathetic. <laughs> like, why won't it work? Why won't it work? Now, you guys. Looks like there's two melee builds. That should be very easy, because I can just outrange them and poke them to death. Now, why are they running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Damn it, I ran out of stamina. Gotta watch your stamina with dual wielding. It eats up a lot of stamina. There we go. Don't let up on the pressure. Just roll catch the fuck out of them. And parry them. <laughs> Okay, so the idea with invading with these is basically you want to outspace people and stay just out of their range and poke the shit out of them. Because we get high counter damage because of my spear talisman. So every time we hit somebody while they're swinging, it's going to hurt real good. And also try to bait people into Glintstone Pebble. Try to get people to trade with you because you have poise. Almost got him. Hang on. Let's stay on him. Don't let him get away. There we go. Deader than dead. I think that, I think that he's just going to run from me. Oh no, this this phantom. He seems like he wants to fight, maybe. Oh, I thought he shot that at me. I heard the noise. I always, I always react to the noises, even if you don't think that they're coming at you. They probably are. Nope. See, how did that make me not be able to drink Estus if it didn't hit me? All right, one down, roll catch. Not really a roll catch, I just kind of stayed on his ass. That's the best thing you can do with this weapon. These weapons just stay on their asses, essentially. Hmm, don't 
don't let him get away. Ah, I have failed. I let him slip away. Yep, stay on him like flies on shit. That's the key with this weapon, is to stay on people's asses. You do enough damage to get rid of them quickly, so you just want to stay on them so they don't heal. Just kind of stalk them along the rooftops. Ooh, almost. This one phantom down because he wasn't paying attention. Alright, now just outspace him. Just outspace him, even if he has Bloodhound Step. You can still do it. Like so. Easy roll catch, because he's fat rolling in 2022. Don't fat roll. Hey dudes. Oh, there's three of you. Fun. Just kind of avoid the spells, wait for them to run out of FP or something. A lot of the time they don't, but you can try. Just let them waste it. Damn it, I ate a spell. It is not good showmanship. Oh my god! God damn. This is nasty. That is a nasty gank. It's kinda kinda zone them out, keep them all in front of you. Make sure you can see all the spells that are being casted. Even if you manage that, you still might get hit. God damn. This is fucking dumb. I gotta abort. I gotta abort right now. This is fucking relentless. They've gotta use up their FP before I even try. Unless I can get the drop on them. I might be able to get somebody with a pebble. Hmm. Where's the host? Is he back here? Oh, I thought he followed me. Alright, what am I gonna do? Oh, oh, help me! Yes, pleasure working with you. Whoa! I locked onto the one that got eaten. God, that was a mistake. You just let your wizard die. Jesus Christ. Don't want to poise through Blood Blade. Oh, shit! <laughs> Now I'm gonna glintstone pebble through that. All right. He did not win that trade. Well, he tried to trade. He didn't even get his half off. It's just me. <laughs> Damn. Hmm. Now I just gotta be better than this guy. I can easily outrange him, so it's gonna be easy. And I can outpoise him too. I wouldn't heal. That was pretty smart. He's gonna heal? I think he's gonna heal. Unless we're 1v1-ing. Just an honest 1v1. I just kind of stay out of his range and poke him to death. It's very simple. That was slick. I respect that, dude. I, I do respect that guy. I'll take out the Phantom first, just to be nice. I was testing the pebble to see the range on it. Don't do that. No bleed. I've seen enough bleed. All right, later, bro. <laughs> oh, look at this dude. <laughs> okay, don't be that guy. <laughs> anyway, let me go find the host. Hey, buddy, your phantom just left you out in the dark, buddy. He stupidly got himself killed for no good, no good reason. Stay on him, don't let him heal. There you go. Hey, he tried a cheeky parry, but he obviously doesn't know what he's doing. And yeah, stay on people's asses like flies on shit. Mm, I smell cheese right now. I think something cheesy is about to happen. That's Rivers of Blood? Yeah, I can't see it. Yeah, I think it is. Alright, I think I'm gonna go for the phantom first because those bonks are going to be really annoying with the jump attack spam he's just going to jump attack the entire time ah uh, he's over leveled too 
he barely took any damage. Now, my strategy now is to outrange that Rivers of Blood with my Glintstone Pebble. Dead. He, holy shit. That was Royal Knight's Resolve. If I would have killed him, like, two seconds later, I would have... He's teabagging after I killed his host. Self-awareness, man. So, I'm gonna seize the opportunity and attack them while they're dealing with the boss. Like that. Kinda like this. Oh, if the boss helps them, it's different, though. Damn, he just keeps swinging. I never expect that. Jesus! How much fucking stamina do you have? Okay, uh... Yeah, sometimes noobs can be even more dangerous than experienced players because they do shit like that, so be careful. Damn, that was really dumb. You really just try to guard counter in PvP. If something like that happens, it's probably best to just trade with it because you're going to out-damage them. Hey, Radon. Look at him, he's so cute. Oh, so is this dude. He's got a bleed build, an honest bleed build. Almost as fucked up as mine. All right, let's just trade. Come at me with that again. All right, somebody trade with me. No, that didn't work out. <laughs> Fucking snake. How did that miss? Jesus Christ. Can I trade with the host? Yes, I can. But it knocked him down for some reason. Alright, dead. Deader than dead. Roll catch machine. You guys should try it. The roll catch machine is fun. Are these those same dudes that blasted me earlier? There was two dudes spamming that meteorite shock from the sky. I think this might be... No, it's not. Oh, a guard counter? This is gonna be easy. Hmm. Maybe not. I kind of thought that was a moon veil for a second. Rock sling, bro. Really? Why do you do no damage? Alright, one down. Dude. If I get stuck like this, okay, I almost got really shitty. Hang on, you're dead. No! I got it. Oh, he's fat rolling. This might this might be my chance to escape. Alright. Now just let me outrange his rivers of blood, and then it'll be over with. I I, I incorrectly judged that. I was just barely too close. Hang on. I might have to just run through it and L1 him. Cause I can I can poise through that. Alright, there we go. So yes, I can poise through it, it's just really dangerous. But you know, that's how you deal with the rivers of blood spam with this. Or you can try to glintstone pebble them and try not to fail like I did. Sort of night and flame, really? That's not cool to use anymore. What a fucking dork. But how do I get to them? Oh yeah, I can't because I make this a melee only build. <laughs> I have nothing to throw at them. I'm just gonna have to climb the ladder, honestly. And that's risky. You hear them up there pew pewing, right? That means if I'm on the ladder, I cannot defend from that. I'm almost there, almost there. I didn't get blasted. They're stupid. They could have seized that opportunity to really hurt me. So, that was risky. I probably shouldn't have done it. Oops. Got a little got a little carried away there. Damn. Deleted. There's the phantom deleted too. Hey, dude. Sorry, you guys got to be my test subjects. Is that a yep? Yep, I thought so. All right, let me just outspace that. If he gives it to me, uh, I didn't have to outspace him. <laughs> but that's the power of Glintstone Pebble. It's basically a one-shot. 
stop. No, dude, don't don't hide behind your shield. Oh god. I really just poised through all that. I just wanted to see if I could. I could have rolled away, but I just wanted to poise through it just for the fuck of it. Alright, gotta deal with the blue first. They're the most relentless. Always the most relentless. Alright. Dealt with easily with the help of a dog. Alright, now host and his buddy. Try to keep everybody where you can see them. What are you doing, man? He's gonna great shield cheese me. See, when they like to hide behind those great shields, that's when you need something like Glintstone Pebble. Alright, now we just gotta stay on his ass like flies on shit. Don't let him get away. Alright, there we go. You gotta stay on people with these weapons. They're great for roll catching. Like so. Oh, this is a bad place to get invaded. Isn't it? Are y'all coming down or what? I don't think they're coming down. And if I get on this ladder, they're gonna they're gonna blast me. Oh, here he comes. I can fight him. Yeah, I wasn't sure what that did. Alright. I don't see that spell very often. I couldn't eyeball it. Now I gotta deal with the rot spam. Hang on. Let me see if I can pebble him. Yeah, he's gonna try it again. Do your rot spam. I want him to do the rot so I can just instantly one-shot him. Or you can just roll catch him because he sucks. And there they are, both dealt with just like that. Oh, hey, you guys. Ready to party? I'm ready. Yeah, I only hit him with one of the spears. Are you ignoring me? That's a mistake. Hmm. Oh, you're dead. Just gotta wait for the opportunity. Seize the moment. Holy shit, that scared me. Wow. I almost fucked up real bad there. Damn it. He rolled the wrong way. I would have roll caught him if he didn't do that. Alright, dead. He didn't have any help. That's weird. I think there's a phantom up there that let his host die for some reason. Oh well, not my problem. Hey dude. This is, I think this is a, no, it's not a solo. He's got a hunter. Alright, I guess I'll take them both, just for science. Ooh, that's not a good idea, man. Oh, that was. Jesus Christ. I ate that. What the fuck just happened? Ah. I'm stuck. Dumb motherfucker. Trying to fucking breath attack me. Alright, I guess I'll just stay on you until you stop panic rolling. Jesus Christ, he was so laggy I couldn't roll catch him. But yeah, that's the idea. Stay on him until until you can roll catch him. What the fuck is going on here? What the fuck? Alright, I'm leaving that in the video just for the memes. Oh look at this poor little Radon. Okay, so I'm basically gonna gonna try to zone them out and stay out of their range and poke them. Uh, he's got bikes. Hang on, I need to play this a little bit more cautiously. Or, or not. But yeah. Um, I know none of that applied to this invasion because they were dumb, but you want to try to outspace people. I hate mages. I hate how they just skitter away like that. Like fucking weasels. I cannot stand them. Are you really going to run all the way back to the fucking bonfire, bro? He is. He is going to run all the way back to the bonfire, and this is fucking sad.
I actually let him hit me. Alright, I gotta pace these. One more. There we go, there we go. You ran from me, fuck you. So, how do you win duels with these? Well, it's it's pretty trivial, honestly. See, dual spears are the easiest way to win duels in this entire game. These are basically cross naginatas, but instead of bleed, they are four mages. You know, they, they scale with intelligence. But they're just as good, and they do similar damage, similar moveset, similar uses. So, it's pretty much the same as dealing with people in invasions, except easier. You're just dealing with one guy. All you really have to do is stay outside of somebody's range, and then poke the shit out of them. When they start running away, you basically just chase them down and roll catch them, you know? It's so easy. These are so easy to use in duels. I don't have a lot to say about it, other than basically just outspace people. Spacing is everything. Staying out of people's range and waiting for them to whiff and then poking them. That is the name of the game with these. And roll catching, too. So, you've got basically two things that I would put emphasis on with these. is roll catching and outspacing. That if you can do those two things, you will never have a problem. And also, you have Glintstone Pebble. Just in case, you know, if somebody whiffs and you get a chance to get that off, just one-shot them, you know? Just do it. You got it on the build, so why not? But, now I'm gonna get into some duels for you guys. Howdy! Hey! So, that has a Twin Blade moveset, and that's me. that means it's gonna be really easy to outrange it. Yeah, you probably should put that on. Get all the buffs you need. You're gonna need them. Nice bubble. Oh, he's gonna try to Royal Knights resolve me. Nope. Yeah, that didn't do a lot of damage, unfortunately for him. I might just parry that if it gets annoying enough. Honest roll catch. Die. Nice. That was pretty smart. Alright, is he gonna jump? I, I thought he was gonna do jump attack spam. Jump attack. Hmm. Alright, good game, bud. He, I basically just outspaced the fuck out of him. And, you know, wait for him to whiff. Hit him with a really strong poke after they whiff. It's a really simple build. Really simple. Hey, my dude. This hey. is gonna be interesting. So basically what I'm gonna do is wait for him to whiff. And then I'm gonna poke him from outside of his range. That's going to be the, the, the game plan. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? He's, he's taking out something faster. What are you doing? Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's probably going to be better for you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. <laughs> Good game, man. He, uh, it's like he wasn't trying, kind of. He was just trying to get me to walk into a giant hunt, which is dumb. Hey, my dude. Hey. Rivers of Blood. This is gonna be fucking funny. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cheeky. All right, bud. Let's get it. I'm just gonna run straight through it when he does corpse filer. I think that's what I'm gonna do anyway. Yep. <laughs> Mine's bigger, bro. Oh, lucky for you. You got knocked down. You're a fucking. Oh god. Hey, people take shit like that into a duel. Yeah. Good game, bud. Good game. Not really. You fucking suck. Alright, you ready? Hmm. He's got more boys than me. And Bloodhound Step. I'm gonna have to parry that. Damn. Just out of range. Oh, I wasn't out of range for that. That's deceptive. Hmm. I'm gonna try to parry it. Dude, that's not gonna work. You gotta let people walk into that. You can't just do it neutral. Damn. Damn, that was pretty lame. Kind of clumsy, but, you know, you get the idea. 
Hey, my dude. Hey. Okay, guys. Me and Edge Lord here are gonna have a, a demonstration. All right, let's get it. I'm not trying to edge walk at you. I promise. Just gotta get in there. Wow. I walked right into that. I tried to poise through his regular R1 and got hit by the weapon art. All right, there we go. 500. That is chunking. Hmm. I'm testing him. See what he's gonna do. Gotta feel him out. Yeah, that's a nice try. That should have been a roll catch, I feel like, if he wasn't so laggy. Damn. Damn, I thought I could hit him before that came out. I don't see that weapon art a lot, honestly. Hmm. Alright. That was a good fucking fight. You gave me a run. You gave me a run for my money. A bit clumsy, but it's a good demonstration. Hmm. Hey! He's just gonna spam the fuck out of me. Hmm. Dude, this is so cheesy. I fucking hate you, dude. I literally fucking hate you. <laughs> hey! Is this a cosplay? Well, why, man? Why? Why you gotta do this to me? Come on, man. Let's fight. Let's fight. Come on. Let's fight. Why are you here if you're just gonna cosplay as a soldier? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wreck him and put it in the video because it's funny. But anyway. That actually missed. Hey, hey, heal. Heal. I want to actually fight you. I want to I want to fight you. Stop. Stop it. Heal. I wanted a real fight, but I'll I'll go ahead and put that in the video just for the lols. So, I sincerely hope you enjoyed. I hope this improved you as a player, because that's what it was supposed to do. Anyway, like and subscribe if you like this stuff, because this is just the beginning of a series. There is going to be more. Also, let me know what more training room videos I should make. Let me know what they should be about. And I'll do anything you guys want. Just let me know, even if it sucks. Dislike the video if you dislike it. Also, if you are a PvP enjoyer that wants to talk to other PvP enjoyers, you can join Bad Red Man on Reddit. It's just a subreddit where any and all things PvP and all FromSoft games go. So, if you are curious about that and you want to come check it out, it's just B-A-D-R-E-D-M-A-N on Reddit. I hope to see you there. Good hunting.